What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, AKA the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle people today. We've got a beginner skipping, I say beginner. It's a fire beginner skipping tutorial today. I'll be sharing with you how to do the perfect side swing, or the most aesthetic side swing technique that the internet has to offer. Remember, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the links down below. Today, I'm using the Money Rope Performance Special Edition. It's not out yet, but it's available for pre-order August the 20th. I was going to cop and check our mats, apparel and ropes on offer guys. You won't be disappointed. This is a quick tutorial people. Um, I'm expecting those who are new in the skipping game or people who have got into it and believe that their techniques are really nice and fire slick. We're going to try and tighten it up if you are making some of these early mistakes. Now, what does a side swing look like? Now, side swings typically, you may see kind of boxes doing it, kind of made popular by sort of Tyson, Mayweather, Duran, like all these really good old school boxes, Leonard. And um, what we're essentially doing is we're just kind of keeping the rotations going, but not skipping underneath the rope, you see? So the ropes come beside my body. My feet will typically move at the same time and it just looks seamless as the rope then goes back under my feet. So how do we get it looking sharp and slick guys now? couple of things right we need to think about your wrists we need to think about your arm position and we need to also think about the timing of how your feet move and jump in sync all right so there's a couple of things we need to think about first things first how to get your hands together or the wrist in the right position now for me I'm left-handed and you know I've gone for this tutorial loads of times in the past but we're going to refine it with some new kind of techniques and thought processes right today I want you to kind of think about when you're practicing with your rope, I want you to kind of feel like you've sort of got your hands on the steering wheel. It's a really good way to think about this. And what I want it to feel like is your dominant hand or the hand that feels good. That's going to be the same hand in which you start the side swing. So if you like to go to your right hand side first, that feels comfortable for you. Your right hand is going to be on top at all times. All right. So you're here. We go to our side, other side, right hand still on top. For me, my left hand feels dominant. Going to my left feels dominant. So my left hand always stays here. And then when we switch sides, it stays here on top. So if you've got that in your head, your dominant hand just goes here, here. Always stays on top. And it's basically like you're flipping over a pancake. All right, think of it like that, or flipping over something. That's the motion. The thumb goes from here, palm up, to then palm down. That's what's gonna get you that really nice slick look. And your bottom hand, all right, so let's say your dom dominant hand is the right hand side, all your bottom hand does is go like this. This is the movement. So your bottom hand almost always has hands facing up, but it will have a little spin at the end, but that stays in line with your belly button, and all that's doing is this, and then your top hand is flipping over that pancake. So when you look at it in slow motion or close up, all right, keep an eye on my bottom hand, Keep an eye, an eye on my top hand and just how everything matches up. What we're trying to do, guys, right, with your wrists is we're keeping them close. We're not keeping them away from each other like this, but we're not keeping them too close. A lot of beginners tend to kind of keep them too close and then sometimes the rope doesn't open or it tangles and it looks awkward. You want a bit of space, a nice bit of space. You know, for me, this is about a good amount of space here as I go here and here. Not too close, not too far, just maybe like a wrist or a hand width apart, that gap, okay? Then what we're trying to do is we're going one, two, open, right? So the wrist, now you've got the position right, when it comes to opening the rope, you want the top hand, the dominant hand, sick, sorry about the plane. You want the dominant hand to flick open and create this whipping action so then keep the revolution speed going just as fast as everything else. So here, whip it, whip it. Now I'm just exaggerating this movement, but hear the sound. You see, there's a, there's a distinctive whip action opening the rope, and then we get back into the skipping motion where your hands are beside you. That's the wrist position. Second thing, guys, is your arm positioning. So I mentioned not going too wide here, but it's also important that for me, if you want that sticks to look really nice, try and keep these elbows a little bit closer to your body, 
but not too tight like this. I see a lot of beginners here and it looks really stiff. We're here and it's like that. Obviously very exaggerated, a bit too stiff. I feel like elbows nice and loose. They point back a little bit like this, not too tight here, not inverted here, back here. And you just want to feel like everything just moves nice and smooth. Forearms, wrists, you see, not too tight, nice and loose. And it goes nice, smooth and effortless. The last point guys, we're getting really quickly through this now, is your footwork. Your footwork is what's going to tie this all in. If your footwork's wrong, and your hands and your wrists, everything, that bit's good. If your footwork's wrong, this is all going to look a little bit disjointed. So with your feet, what I want you to try and practice is you keep the feet moving whilst you're doing these side swings. A good drill, I've always taught my classes or beginners or one-to-ones, -one, is basically get into your boxer step, or even if you're at basic bounce, and you're just going to just do side swings at the same time as jumping. Now you'll know if you're off or you're out of sync, let's say you're doing a boxer step, you'll know if this rope is not really in sync with your feet. So you want to feel like you're still moving these feet, same kind of positions, tapping the floor, heels up, and then when you're ready, you're just going to jump through and keep the same footwork motion, right? There should be no stuttering, there should be none of this. That's obviously where you're at with the beginner side of things, which is normal. You want to get to a point where your feet don't skip the beat, you know what I mean? So the feet just kind of move, same pace, same action, no stuttering, and it all kind of feels effortless and seamless. So get into this habit of just doing side to side, dominant hand on top, now you're good at this, keeping the rope nice and close to our side. It's not going wavy outwards, hands are not wide apart. They're nice and tight side swings here, here. Good breathing, feet moving, and then just jump through it when you feel ready. And it should feel really easy. Finally, guys, before I wrap up, get creative with it, change your footwork up, try different things. You could do a little toe kick out here, here, keep that going, and then just kick it out here. You see, just have a bit of fun. You know, you can mix side swings up with everything. That's the beauty of side swings. You could change combinations. You could go into new combinations like this. You see, they're a really nice way to piece together the combos, transitions. Take a little break now and then if you want. You see boxers do it. It's a really nice way to coordinate everything and look really slick with your ropes. So that about wraps it up guys. Remember, give this video Big thumbs up, that'd be really useful for me. Hit the subscribe button. Join our incredible army growing around the world and cop your amazing ropes as always. Find the links below, we've got you covered. Best ropes on the internet, hands down. So guys, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.